You're very welcome to this five minute chat. If today you're feeling a little bit broken, a little bit down on life, things haven't gone your way. Boy, have I got great news for you. Have I got great news for you today? Because you know what? There was a gentleman many, many years ago who was very down and very, very broken. And we can take some encouragement and some inspiration from what he says to us. The man in question is King David, and the passage of scripture today is Psalm 51. Many of you will know it. A considerable number of scholars will say that when David penned Psalm 51, he had in his mind his sin, his grievous sin, where he orchestrated the debt of a man so that he may take his wife, Bathsheba, as his own. And David tried to cover up his sin, and the prophet Nathan confronts him about this. And eventually, all of Israel finds out about his sin, and everybody who reads the scriptures to this day finds out about his sin. Lesson in this, don't try to cover your sin, but confess it. He is faithful and just. He will cleanse you from it. Confess it. Bring it to him. Bring it to the feet of Jesus. But in Psalm 51, he says things like this. Have mercy on me, O God. I acknowledge my transgression in verse 3. I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Purge me with hyssop, and I will be clean. That's interesting. Wash me. Make me hear joy and gladness. Create in me a clean heart, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Don't cast me away. And maybe you're thinking that this morning. Lord, I've dropped the ball again. Don't cast me away. Don't send me away. You know, where will I go? Think of Peter's words to our Lord in John 6. Where, where, where will I go? You've the words of eternal life. But I'm lost and I'm broken and I'm crushed and I need you to restore me. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. And it's interesting, he says, purge me, purge me with hyssop and I will be clean. And in John 19, 29, we have our Lord, you know, with hyssop being put to his mouth by the soldiers while he's on the cross with the sour vinegar. Why? Why hyssop? We have John the Baptist as he stands there speaking about the one to come in John 1, 29, and he looks and he sees somebody that he recognizes. And he says, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Your sin. My sin, regardless of how great it is, just like David here, with such a great sin. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Purge me with hyssop. And the hyssop was used in ceremony and cleaning um, by the priests, the Old Testament priests. We see it first of all in Exodus 12, 22, where they're told to dip the hyssop in the blood and to sprinkle it on the lintel and the doorposts while you were in Egypt, just before the Exodus. And we have our Lamb of God as well with the hyssop as he is dying for the sins of the world, yours and mine, that he might cleanse us. There is no sin that can keep you out of heaven except the one of rejecting the one who's come from heaven, the Lamb of God who takes away your sins. And if you're broken today, I want to say something very clearly. God loves brokenness. He desires a broken and a contrite heart. Oh Lord, you will not despise humility, brokenness. We live in a world that exalts pride. People have pride month now and pride marches. But the Lord calls for humility and brokenness. My brother Barry always says, God is not so concerned with how far away you are from him in your sin. He's more concerned about which direction you're facing. You see, he's used to dealing with prodigals. He's used to dealing with people who are broken and far away. And he says, if you come to me, I won't send you away. So this morning, maybe you're a little bit like the prodigal in Luke 15, when he comes to his own mind and he says, what am I doing here? Perhaps this day in your brokenness and your humility and your pain, you might turn to Jesus and say, forgive me. I confess this as sin. Restore me, Lord. Restore the joy 
of my salvation. May the Lord Jesus bless you this day, brother and sister in Christ. Thank you.